Further up the bay, and beyond the upper cape, lays Bayside, so-called because it faces the bay. At Bayside is a point of land known as Point Manoche, so named because of the fact that a young man had lost his life here in a winter storm, and in the spring his lifeless body was found, leaning against an ash tree where he had perished. Nice sandy beach. Good day. That's going to be a fun day. Looking for a place I can approach the shore as much as possible. Maybe there. Wow, all sand. I didn't know that. Okay, so I put a long rope. The anchor's over there, and the charger is on, solar panel on, and I expect this to become dry in about the next hour. And um, put a little pile of rock there to tell me the tide. And I picked up something already. Uh, a lad, wait. Hey, okay, I'm ready. And I came from Bayvert, which is way, way back there. Okay, I found a boot. And <laughs> this guy's like me. He tried to fix it and fix it until there's no more hope. And the tide's still going down, the boat is now aground. So since I arrived, uh, from the sand, the wet sand, to that line, that's what is gone. And I don't think I see anybody here today. It's pretty quiet. And it's nice. One cute button. And tide is rising soon. And there's not much in the ground really, it's uh, aluminum and shut shell. So far. As I was leaving, I saw um, in the background a little pole sticking up, so I went to check this up, and then it turned out it was many, many poles, and the tide was rising, so I decided I'd come back another time. But so I came back some time later and I brought my kite with me, and I bought another battery because it was it was too far from uh, Bayvert. I fixed the brushes of the engine and I waited for an opening, a good tide, and it happened a few weeks later. And there's another video coming uh, on 
that war for what it is. I get my idea, so I'll let you decide. And uh, let's uh, keep on this video and and uh, enjoy the trip back. In the meantime, I asked the neighbors in Port Elgin if they knew who lived there. They said Mr. Dautremont, I think. And I went to the driveway, uh, tried to contact the owner. I still haven't succeeded. So, anyway, in time, uh, I make it right. Thank <laughs> you. 